hello everyone welcome back to another session by k21 academy today our expert trainer will give you a holistic overview of the whole exam preparation strategy so that you can perform well so let's get started so what we're going to talk about we are going to talk about general strategies that how you will be preparing for the examination now let's understand what kind of the questions that microsoft will be asking for your examination now on a high level understanding there are three kind of the question which may come up now the first category of the question is classic objective type questions that you can get now in classic objective question guys there will be straight away four to five options and you have to pick one answer associated with that now this kind of a questions you might have seen in multiple competitive examinations so you already have an understanding to that now the another category of the questions that you will be getting in your examination will be multiple choice question now guys in examination there is no negative marking so there is no point leaving any question behind for the examination right what will be the duration so the duration of the examination will be 2 hours 15 minutes to 2 hours 30 minutes out of which you will be getting around 50 to 55 questions now the number of the questions can vary so that is the reason i'm mentioning 50 to 55 it's a thousand marks paper so depending on number of the question the marks will be distributed so let's say if it is a 50 marks question each question will have 20 marks of the weightage now over here guys in this category of the second question is the multiple choice question and here you will also have the partial marking as well what does that mean let's say out of five options there are three options to be checked you end up selecting three options but let's say out of three choices that you have selected only two are correct one is incorrect so you will still be marked for those two choices that you have marked correctly over here now in such kind of the question don't try to select all the answers because if there will be all the answers there should be a category of all mark all above top as well as an option so go for that option rather marking all the answers now over here guys partial marking is there so try to be deliberate marking the options let's say if you feel like any particular option mark it if in case you have a confusion if you get some chance to come back take that particular chance what what that means that let's say out of four options that you have you mark three choices you have a doubt don't spend much time on that particular doubt until and unless you have covered all the questions the thing is if you have invested some time at least mark the answer now the thing is if you calculate that out of 50 questions in two hours 15 minutes or 30 minutes one question needs to be covered within a span of 2.5 to 3 minutes now this is the time that you have to think correctly because guys we understand that not everybody is you know having the english as a mother tongue language right so where we spend more time in terms of reading the question multiple times so guys for such kind of the requirement go for options first that what are the questions that you will be getting for an example the third kind of the questions that you will be getting as a use case or as a story that there is a requirement of an organization there are certain things which has been implemented and right now as per the scenario they would like to implement a solution which is cost effective or which may require more performance now in such kind of the case studies guys the approach is read the question first and then get into the paragraph so it's kind of a classic unseen passages that we used to have in your english that first you will read the question and then start attempting the para it will save your time for getting the answers so that you can avoid multiple reading of the same question because by the time you will be finishing that para you should have some answers to that and there will be multiple questions on the basis of that particular paragraph now how to approach these kind of the question guys there will be some a section where it will be mentioning about the requirement and most of the answers will be available in the requirement section over there so try practicing that in cloud k2 and academy you will be getting lots of such kind of the question for the practice so do practice those questions and try to make your time management because guys knowledge is one thing but clearing the examination is more about a strategy over here i hope guys you got the essence how to approach the examination now let's get started on the topics that what we have covered now so here we're going to talk about your design identity governance and monitoring solution design infrastructure solution 
and your designing data the storage solution and your design business continuity solution associated with that so guys over here you can see that this these are the weightage so you can expect more questions coming from your designing the infra solution and designing your governance and the monitoring solution so guys if you see the weightage over here for designing data solution these are carrying very high weightage for your examination it means that we have to be proficient on these topic right designing the infrastructure we have invested good amount of the time on the networking component on firewalls load balancing high availability business continuity dr solutioning and also we had invested good amount of the time on the azure ad i mean that was the first topic that we picked and we talked about how the integration happen how to use ad connect service to bring on premises users to the cloud right and we have seen the demonstration associated with that get into those topics guys excessively because you can see 25 to 30 percent of the weightage for those requirement in our last few session we talked about migration and monitoring extensively that how monitoring is supposed to happen over there so as you can see these are the topics which required good amount of understanding also about your storage so that part that we talked about regarding the blob regarding the file shares how you can use the storage queues how the file shares will be created and how we can use the file sync service as well and what are the different hot tier and cool tier how to strategize them that also have a good amount of the weightage now designing business continuity solution 10 to 50 percent now here it is about your high availability and the backups and the dr solutioning so bcdr is your business continuity disaster recovery having a weightage of 10 to 15 percent now these are few topics but having a weightage of 15 percent so guys don't leave any question now designing a strategy over here so read both the question and the answer in full one time through identify the feature mentioned in the answers and identify the text in the question that implies certain services like rbac policies arm template sas shared access signature and mfa right so if these are options available or you can say if these are available in the question just keep an eye on that because you might get such kind of the things associated in the answers itself pay attention to qualify the clauses like in most cost effective way will be the best fulfill so guys you might have the answers that you may find all the four answers are suitable but the idea is to focus on the requirement now in that particular kind of the category you have to focus on the requirement for an example let's say if an organization wants to host a web application there are n number of ways that you can host a web application on top of a vm on top of the app service where you will be bringing the code or on the app service you can also have a choice of a docker container or as a container image or you can go for the kubernetes requirement as well right now as per the requirement the option may change now eliminate your obviously wrong answers to narrow down the selection of the possible right answer now guys definitely guys nobody is perfect so not you will be able to find the answer each and every time so in such kind of the situation where you are not able to get the right answer try to get the approach elimination of the options for an example let's say you know that okay these two options are definitely not possible because these are as per the criteria is not fulfilling the requirement so definitely the best suitable answer can be a calculative risk that you can take in rest two options so that is how you can approach for those questions and the exam you can book your exam from your home location because of the pandemic microsoft is providing that info, uh, option you can also go to your you know pearson views location as well and you will be able to give your examination over there as well so that is your uh, you know center staff will be available that you will be able to you know have to carry your one id that you will have and one photo and then you will be able to assign a workstation through which you will be able to do that particular test if you are doing it from your home you have to make sure your mic and your camera should be up and running guys these are few requirements and that room has to be isolated so guys i hope you really liked our session and if you have any kinds of doubts you can please comment down below and our team will reach out to you and do not forget to give us a thumbs up and if you are really intrigued by the kind of terms used and you want to learn more about it then we have something really really special for you we have this free class on microsoft azure solutions architect certification that is az305 
And if you want to learn more about it, then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure SA02. In this session, in this free class, you'll be learning about why you should be learning Azure Cloud, your paths to learn Azure Solution Architect Expert Certification. You'll be getting to know the difference between AZ303, AZ304, AZ305, and a lot many insightful things. So if you want to do this, then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure SA02. After that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now and select your availability according to the event date mentioned. Add your name, add your phone number, add your email, and every detail will be conversed to you via our mail. And after that, just proceed ahead. On the extreme light, you'll be seeing this kind of link. So just copy this link, save it to your calendars, and I will see you in the next class. Till then, take care and keep hustling.